cost that cost a quarter And then it is death for the star reporter Tip your hat, he's the king of New York So today's relatively free form. I don't have anything really concrete that I have to accomplish today, which is honestly the first day that I can say that's true in probably a couple months. I do need to record a tip of the day for Academy, which I'm probably going to do right now, and I'm uh, going to catch up on the, the forum, going to catch up on my inbox, which I do about once per week. And that, by the way, is probably one of the biggest productivity habits that I've set for myself over the last several years is just ha making the having the realization that the vast majority of email is just a waste of time. <laughs> and I don't I don't mean to uh, make it sound like it's it's unimportant. It's important to stay in touch for me with our audience. It's important to have my finger on the pulse of what people want, what people's problems are. But Here's the thing, it's all about how you schedule that process. For most people, they are completely reactionary. They've got their inbox open all day and they're responding to things as they come in. And that means that you are prioritizing your time based on other people's wants, needs, and problems. And if that's your job, if, you know, like Darius, for example, that, that's his job, but that's, that's why I, I hired him is to, is to stay on top of those tasks. He's our customer service person. That's his full-time job is to take care of those things. My full-time job is to keep the company moving forwards. And that will only happen if I have very, very fine focus on the fundamental elements that make those, those needles actually move as far as our, our reach, our revenue, our number of students and followers, etc. And prioritizing everybody else's problems ahead of those tasks will not accomplish our goals. So what I've been doing for quite some time now, I started this several years ago before anybody even came on board, was I started batching my, my email response. And it, it uh, originally, uh, what I was doing is responding to email twice a day. I do it first thing in the morning, uh, which is terrible, by the way. I won't get into that now. I do email first thing in the morning. Uh, I was doing it first thing in the morning and then last thing before I wrapped up for the day. And then as I started getting help with the inbox, I started decreasing that more and more and more. Now I'm to the point where I'm replying to email about once a week. And so everything that's accumulated that only I can take care of, I take care of that once per week. And it takes about an hour, maybe hour and a half. And then I for the most part, ignore the inbox the whole rest of the week. So what that does is it frees up my time tremendously and uh, increases my focus on what needs to be accomplished in the, in the office tremendously. And it's a big productivity increase over taking care of and putting out all those little fires here and there. Now, just to be clear, anybody who needs help with their login or they lost the link to whatever training or what, those are all things that Darius takes care of. The, the things that get put in my inbox are usually tennis specific questions. Hey, I have this problem with my game or it's an inquiry from an outside business. Somebody saying, hey, I'd like to advertise on your website or whatever. Those kinds of things do not need immediate response. Those are the kind of things that get put in my box. Anything that needs an immediate response is Darius's job and, and he takes care of those things. Where are, where are we going for lunch? Portillo's. What's so great about Portillo's? Chili cheese dogs. What's so great about their chili cheese dogs? Uh, they're perfect. Wow. Everybody ready? I'm not ashamed of that. I'm really not ashamed of that. What about the fact that you have a cassette tape? No, no I listen to it regularly, actually. <laughs> it's a good, I got yeah, it. Unfortunately, I don't think we got here early enough. I was gonna say we probably went at the wrong time. How do you feel right now, James? Describe your feelings. Anticipation. Anticipatory. Guys coming up, there's two lines if anybody wants to slide down. 
Scale one to ten, what do you give Portillo's first experience? Eight point two. Right. Solid, James. Ah, uh, well, I'm a little disappointed. I haven't had it in a while. I'd uh, probably seven and a half. Seven and a half. Yeah, it's still good. How are you, how are you feeling, Darius? <laughs> Ask me again after I throw up. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. Throw up out of your mouth. Throw up out of your mouth. Darius ate a burger and and a, what did you? A think? double. And a double burger and, and a chili, uh, chili uh, cheese dog. Nice, nice. And fries. <laughs> All right, just got back from lunch. Now I'm gonna jump on a call with the marketing consultant that is likely gonna start helping us out. All right, just finished up that call with our new marketing uh, assistant. I'm not sure what to call him exactly, but he's gonna be helping us out with a lot of behind the scenes uh, set up with our uh, kind of testing and optimizing and, and copy and that sort of thing. Uh, now I have two minutes left until another call with the owner of another website that a friend of mine set me up. The person I'm about to have a call with is the owner of the wirecutter.com, uh, which is a website that does a lot of kind of product reviews and that sort of thing. and. He has a team of 40, 50 people now, and he got set up with me by a mutual friend, basically, and gonna pick his brain a little bit about growth and online business. All right, a really, really good couple of calls today with a few different people. Uh, Wilson Rep talked about potential uh, deal between Essential Tennis and uh, Wilson, and just finished that call with the CEO of thewirecutter.com. That was really, really, Helpful, inspiring call for me. Uh, really pretty amazing guy and uh, gave me a, a good kick in the pants spending a, a bit of time with him on the phone and experiencing his level of uh, focus and uh, directness, uh, which I appreciated a lot. Uh, I'm going to wrap up a couple things here at the office and then head home for the weekend. Seems kind of crazy that this is the, the middle now of my four-week challenge to myself to do a daily vlog. This is number 10, halfway, halfway through.